My name's Andy Quilty. I'm an artist from Rockingham. This is my first go at street art for the 140 Art Project. And this is literally the first street art I've ever done. That was a new experience, especially with uh, people sharing their opinions as you paint. It's pretty interesting. Got all kinds of reactions. Some people really, really kind. Some people really liked it. Other people told me it was disgusting and they hoped I wasn't getting paid for it. I'm a very impatient person by nature. I work really aggressively, really quickly. Normally I spend max four or five hours on any given painting or piece of art. Being a public artwork, it's, it's no different. I like to work quickly and loosely and that gives you the most honest, natural piece of work. Sometimes I just grab whatever spray can is near to me or I'll use like an old sticky thing of paint which has been sitting out. I work really erratically. I get really angry when I work as well, I swear a lot. Like it's a frustrating thing, you know. I'm working fast and erratically and when things don't go well it can be pretty frustrating. So I think that's the other thing about doing public art is the challenges. You've got people around you, you can't just lose your shit. You've got to, you know, <laughs> whereas in the studio I'm free to carry on like a peanut and you know that kind of that works for me. I've always drawn ever since I was a kid. All through primary school, all through high school I used to draw always in class. I used to get in trouble a lot. My mum was a teacher at the same school as me and so I got double busted because the teacher would tell her at school and then she'd tell my dad at home so I'd get busted at school and I'd get busted at home. I studied art at uni for three years, didn't enjoy uni at all, spent most of the time surfing. During that time I, I started spraying surfboards and by the time I finished uni I got given a full-time job as a surfboard artist and then got a job in the States for three months in Philadelphia. So I lived there for three months when I was only, I think I was only 22, so that was pretty awesome. So a couple of years ago, I decided I was gonna have a crack at being a proper artiste. It's been probably two or three years now where I've kind of been going at it and recently I'm, I'm just about full-time. I'm kind of only working one day a week now and the rest of the time's on the art. So yeah, it's, it's going pretty good. It's cool to be able to give something back to 140 because they gave me a massive studio for nothing for a year. Last year while I had this amazing studio space, I just, I did so much work and it's, it's guaranteed I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't been given the space. It's a massive op opportunity. They say jump, I'll say <laughs> how high. This was just a portrait of one of my mates who's a FIFO worker. The skulls next to it was kind of like, I just kind of did a portrait and I was like, and I was left with this big blank white space and I was like, oh shit, what do I do now? One of the ideas I had was um, the Southern Cross as kind of skulls. It's like most of my, I don't, I don't kind of put a whole lot of planning in. It's just, I, I literally bring up like 20 A4 printouts of photographs that I've taken and work and then just whatever I'm feeling on the day, that's what I'll kind of paint. I think it's awesome that, you know, the corporation people with tons of money are spending it on public art, um, supporting bums like me. It's, yeah, it's really cool. Thank you.